Thank you very much. A little bit of blues to warm us up today. Um, that was a tune of mine called Bluesworthy, and it's from my album of this year called uh, Jazzphoria. This album is an op my octet, so I'm so excited to play you this great quartet tonight. Frank Martin on the keyboard. Or keyboard, as it were. Nancy Wenstrom on the guitar. T. Moran back here on the drums. And the winner of the best shirt contest tonight and tie, Mark Levine on the bass. The next tune is a tune of mine from a prior album, uh, uh, another group I had called Peace, which was produced by, because he, by Frank Martin. And this is uh, written for one of my best friends, my best friend. It's called Apple Face.
want to give a big shout out to Eric Whittington who runs this joint, a book and record store and a jazz club. What could be better? Thank you very much, Eric. And I also want to mention the Independent Musicians Alliance, which is a new group that's forming basically a union type group for uh, independent musicians and trying to set a reasonable, livable wage scale for local musicians. And uh, Eric Whittington at Bird and Beckett subscribes to that pay scale, so we really appreciate that. Thank you very much. The next one is from, yeah, it's from that album that Frank produced for us, the Bruce album. It's called Azul.
my gun and take it with me. Thank you very much. If anybody's listening on live stream, I should let you. Hi. I should let you know that um, since Eric subscribes to the Independent Musicians Alliance pay scale, he's paying a lot of this money out of his pocket. So if you're listening on live stream, if you would care to donate something, it would go to the Burden Beckett Cultural Fund, which helps to pay for all these bands. He has like 300 shows a year here, so it's amazing. So if you're listening on stream and you want to donate a little money through there, you can do it through the website or, um, yeah, through his website. We're going to continue with a tune I wrote for our new, my new album, Jazz For You. This one is for my mother. She was a dancer, and uh, she loved to dance to Latin music, and she taught me and my sister to dance from the time we were in utero. And uh, so this is, and she was, uh, my mother was like 4'11". You didn't know that. You've never met my mother. But there she is. Yeah. Uh, so this is called St. Mildred the Short. She was a Jewish saint. We used to say. <laughs> My glory.
store. And let me see. I had a poetry book come out this year. It's a chapbook, which is a short book with, I think there are 34 poems in it. And I don't usually like to do readings because mostly I'm a musician and not a poet. I shouldn't say that, but anyway, since it's a bookstore, I thought I would read one of the poems. This is not from my book. This is already published, but it's from, it'll be from my next book. <coughs> this was uh, submitted to a poetry contest from the journal that it was published in. And it was one of those odd things that I never do, but I did this time. They give you the first line of the poem, and they give you the last line. And they just tell you to write a poem in between, which is a bit of a challenge. So <coughs> I wrote this poem. It's called Anthems of Ancestors. A birth with sudden, sudden tempo evokes tremors. Cowbell pumps the clave, congas dive in, muscles engage, and couples flood the floor. Heartbeats sync with Latin rhythms recalling La Patria, where the anthems of ancestors seep through stones and walls. Bongos spark memories, spark memories of homemade tambora, fashioned from buckets and coaxed into life by steeled ground hands. Trumpets proclaim proud fanfare as three generations of facile fingers fire the valves in familial tandem. The guitaron, with its sonorous bass power, becomes the chassis and drives the thrumming train while children strum small guitars. Hand-bored wooden flutes, abuelas to all the instruments, flutter like folksy syllables and are said to communicate with birds. The seamless stream of salsa, rumba, merengue lasts until dawn, when a beguiling bolero signals time to rest. Lovers, oh. Lovers lay weary hands, heads on shoulders, as bodies entwine and sway to rubato rhythms, inclined ears exalt.
Beautiful tune. Can we, is there? Is this? Oh, no, I'm talking the wrong way. That beautiful tune was written by guitarist Nancy Wenstrom. <laughs> Nancy, would you like to tell the story behind that tune? Uh, sure, I'll tell you. Oh, uh, once upon a time, there was a girl who went to Cal Berkeley, and she was only 17, and she didn't know what she was doing there, so she dropped out. Oh. And then in uh, 2016, I went back and <laughs> got my degree. And uh, I wrote the song while I was studying music. See, I had a music career, and then I got the degree. So I did everything backwards, right? But uh, at least I got it, and I did this song, wrote this song while I was there, and it's called Unfinished Business. So I guess I got to write a sequel now, Finished Business, I right? Think, I think <laughs> your business is finished. <laughs> it's finished there. Okay. So, and that's on our new album. I love that, too. Nancy, Nancy has her own band. It's called Nancy Wenstrom and the Insiders. Her new album is called Inside Story, and it's, I would call it, folky country music. Americana. Americana, that's what they, blues-ish. Yes, very nice album. Okay, this next one, um, <coughs> I wrote for my cat. She died, cats die. She was 20 years old, just a few years younger than me. And uh, this is called Elegy for Kitty. That was her name.
to close out this set with one more tune and then we're going to take a short break and we will be back. Um, this tune is was born in New Orleans and it's called More Funner.
Thank you very much. We have a huge crowd here in the house today. It's a small bookstore, but they are very loud people, and we love that. Take a little break. We'll be back. Remember? I did. I brought a book about chickens last time. Yes, because we were doing the chickens last time. I know. I have a student who carries two dogs, two cats, and eight children. The cameraman. And they go through eggs like And do the cats go after the chickens? No, they're in the coop.
here for coming the huge audience thank you so much because you know you always think nobody's going to show up and uh, then they do so I really appreciate it and it's so much fun to play in front of a live audience I know we're live streaming but uh, yeah good to see your bodies here the heads too <laughs> of course of course all you people in your pajamas Okay, this is, I was just thanking the people who are here in the club tonight because it's so uh, great to play to li a live audience because we put the energy out there and they bring the energy back and it's like a circle and it's wonderful. But I also want to thank the live stream audience. You there in your pajamas, you there in your underwear. I, I don't want to see that, but I don't have to. That's good. <coughs> so thank you all, all the naked people out there in their homes. And um, you're making a th that couple over there. You're making a good sex tape, but I think we need to play a little faster tune. Get, you know, like get things going here. Okay, so we're going to continue um, with a tune written by our keyboard player, Frank Martin. And Frank, you want to tell us about this tune? It's a musical composition. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, sort of gospel, it's called Practice What You Preach, so that's where the title came from, kind of floated in that, that range. So it's a funky gospel tune, and it's on a terrific album, if you haven't heard the album. You wanna talk about the album? Um, I guess so. Um, I have, what is it, the Deuce album? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, I have a band called Deuce, with, or had, with my partner Ellen Sealing, a great trumpet player, and we have two albums out and of all original material. And our second album was produced by Frank Martin um, in a wonderful way and has about three or four Frank Martin tunes on it. And uh, this is one of them. There you go. That's it. Let's go to church, folks. <laughs> Thank you. 
Craig Martin and his tune called Practice What You Preach. And he doth preach. And clearly he has practiced. We're going to do this next tune is a tune of mine um, on my album. This album which Nancy Wenstrom, the guitar player, is on the album. And this is called Synesthesia. Does anybody here know what synesthesia is? Somebody does. Well, cool. I have synesthesia, and it's, um, <coughs> it's a lot more of a blessing than a curse. It's, it's that your senses in your brain get mixed up. So some people have the kind of synesthesia where they can taste sound because those two senses get mixed up. I have grapheme synesthesia, which means that all my life I've seen all the numbers and letters in color. And, <coughs> and different people who have grapheme synesthesia, their colors are different. Like I might see the letter D as brown, but someone else might see it as blue. And the way they test it is they, they ask you for the colors when you're very young, because when I was young, I used to say to my mother, Though that sign is wrong, the D is the wrong color. And she would think, okay. <laughs> What have, what have I brought? Um, but apparently, people have, people have synesthesia. The, their colors are different, but they remain constant through their lives. So they would test you when you're young, and then they test you later on and say, what color are, are these letters? And if they're the same always through your life, then you have it. And it's a blessing and a curse, a lot more of a blessing because I love color. It's a little bit of a curse because you see things, uh, you see words and they're the wrong color or the numbers, things like that. Anyway. What, uh, what number is this? What number is red is not a number, but R is is R is a red letter for me. But um, yeah, I think that's a very cute number that you have there. You're very welcome. It goes with your stash. Okay, so I named this tune Synesthesia. They are talking. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. That's our big dance number. So we appreciate that you crowded the floor on that one. Okay. I'm going to write a tune named after quite a few people I've met in my life um, and something that other people might say about me. This is called Smarty Pants. Levine on the bass.
Andrew Nancy Winstrom on the guitar solo, Mark Levine on the bass solo, Frank Martin on the keyboards, and T. Moran on the drums. Yeah. <coughs> I'm a lucky person. This next tune is an homage to all the dive bars I've played in my life. All the dive bars you guys have played in your lives, we know it well. What, what happens with this tune is, it's basically a blues form, but by the time it gets to, well, I'm from New York, which I know you can't tell from my accent at all, but um, when it gets to be, in New York, the gigs used to be nine to one instead of eight, to, it was, they were four hours and they'd end at, w at one, and of course you get free drinks. So by like 12.30, everybody is like either drunk and definitely stoned and pretty tired, and they've kind of forgotten the blues form. <laughs> they ki they're kind of like, you know, nodding out in between. So um, <coughs> this tune is an homage to that. It's called Dive Bar.
Music for the drunk. Um, we have a couple more tunes yeah. to play for you. And I want to give a big shout out um, to Eric, who's the proprietor of this joint, yeah. this amazing joint. I mean, what's better than a bookstore and a jazz club? You know, it's just perfect, and we love playing here. Thank you, Eric, for having us. If you're listening online, thank you for listening online. If you want to contribute, you know, um, Eric it conforms with the, oh, I think I mentioned this before, um, the new standard of, we hope, of paying musicians a reasonable salary, and he's so wonderful that way. And since he does a million concerts per year, a lot of the money comes out of his pocket. So if you're listening online, and you want to go and contribute a few bucks or something, Eric would really appreciate it. And thank you for having us. We're going to do a couple more tunes. This one is called, um, it used to be called Away, Away with Words. And I had written um, words to it because I used to write tunes with words. And the more I played it, the more I realized it doesn't need the words because the music says it all. So now it's called Away with the Words. The books, the books, books everywhere. Test. Do we have the flute, the uh, flute mic happening? I hope we do. <coughs> Solo, flute, and piano. Two bars. A one, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Frank Martin on the keyboards. <laughs> T. Moran back there on the drums. Mark Levine on the bass. Nancy Wenstrom on the guitar. And um, I want to thank, I want to thank um, everybody for coming today. Thank you very much. We really appreciate to have a live audience. And if you're listening online, thank you for not going to bed yet. It's not not time yet. We have one more tune for you. And um, I think I'm going to read one of my poems from my poetry book. And then we'll play that tune. And then we'll say goodbye. This tune is, this uh, poem is called My Composer Brain is a Laundromat. In my brain, notes, rests, bass and treble clefs brazenly flirt. Spin-dizzy time signatures experiment with odd meters. Sharps flatten. Chords get tangled in knots. A little fabric softener and out tumbles smooth jazz. <laughs> Blacks and blues, work songs, field hollers, gospel and hip-hop sometimes slip into the white bleach load trying to pass. The dryer's questionable intonation collects in the lint filter. Socks masquerade as eighth notes, cuddling after their wet night of passion. Static crass crackles like castanets. I toss the music sheets into the air and listen as they craft themselves into fresh tunes. This last tune, um, thank you. I'm not used to applause after poems, but I'll take it. Um, this last tune was written at one of my composer residencies, and this one I think was in somewhere in the Midwest. Oh, it was in Nebraska? No, I wasn't in Nebraska. Nebraska City? Okay. Thank you. It was in Nebraska City, Nancy tells me. Um, there's this chain of restaurants called the Buck Snort. I'm from New York. I, I know about Bucks, but I don't know that much about Snort. Well, I do, but um, I used to. But uh, in any case, there was this club called, this restaurant called the Buck Snort Saloon, and it was all very dark, and there was, you know, a bar and everything. But then there were all these kids in there, and the kids were eating kid food, and the adults were dancing drunk and weird, you know, it was a very strange combination. And all around the ceiling was taxidermy, huge, like these big heads of bucks. I guess that's why it's called the buck snort. I think the bucks snort <coughs> when they're mating. I've tried that. It doesn't work on people. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> this is a, an anthem I wrote for the Buck Snort. It's called Live at the Buck Snort Saloon.
very much. Frank Martin, Nancy Wenstrom, T. Moran, Mark Levine, I'm Jean Feinberg, and thank you, Eric, for having us here. We love playing here, and I really appreciate the live audience because it's wonderful. Thank you online. If you're listening, please give a couple of bucks to Eric. Thank you. All right, Jean Feinberg. Indeed. Let's hear it once more for Jean. All right. Jazz for us. I would like to mention that my big, larger band, not a big band, is called um, Jazzphoria. And it has, Nancy Wenstrom is in the band. It's a rhythm section, and we have four horns in that band. And it's all original material. And we will be at the Freight and Salvage in Berkeley on, what's the date? I forgot. Uh, 27th. It's the no. Sunday after. The Sunday after no, Thanksgiving. No, no, I'm sorry. That's the that's a different band. Yeah. 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 Anyway, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the weekend before that. Check the freight Isn't this terrible? Check the Freight and Salvage, or I have a website. It's called JeanFeinberg.com. J E A N F I N E B E R G dot com, and we have so many gigs we can't remember the day. Only kidding. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be at the Freight and Salvage, and you know it's a big room. It has it's like I don't know four thousand seats or something. I'm not that big. But anyway, we need to fill the freight on that day because otherwise they'll never have us back. So if you want to come hear the band with four horns and four horn arrangements, uh, you can go on my website, genefeinberg.com, and see it there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, Frank Martin over there on piano. Nancy Wenstrom, as we know, on guitar. T. Moran back there on drums. Mark Levine on bass, yep. wonderful quintet version of the, of the band. We appreciate that very much. Thank you to Susan and Amy and Craig and Tony out there for donating in the stream. That makes a big oh, difference. very nice. They were very kind. Oh, I, I very thank nice. two of those in the comments, but the other two early adopters, I think, Amy and Susan, I didn't get a chance to put it in the stream, so I will. But thank you. Thank you, and thank you to this wonderful audience that's here and those people that were here earlier and went to dinner and that kind of thing. Do come out to the shows. We put them on every Friday and Saturday at least, but I think Sunday we have something maybe this week. I think we probably do. We often do four and five events in a, in a, in a week, so come to a lot of those. For t 20 years now, we've been doing jazz every Friday wow. evening at Bird and Beckett wow. since October. 2002, and this is October 2020. Yes. In all those years, we've missed two Fridays, and that was just last year, wow. around Christmas time. You know, the dates are, it was kind of ridiculous to try to do them on whatever Christmas Eve or whatever, things COVID like that. So we, COVID. well, it was that too, but it was COVID before, and we did them. You know, we did them. We live streamed through that period. We just had uh, solo performers for a while. Then we had cohabitating couples for a while, <laughs> not doing anything on stage but playing music, you understand. And then we would have trios if they were all like cagely willing to be kind of near other musicians with like full body armor. So we did that. And then in June of 2021, we started audiences again. So now we've been doing it for 18 months or something like that. So October 21st, we're having a celebration of 20 years, and October 28th, we're doing it because both bands connect right back to the original band that started oh, the Every Friday good. thing. You all are performing on the Chuck Peterson Memorial Stage. Chuck Peterson's a tenor player who just passed away about six months ago, but he started it. You know, he came to me and said, well, I could play golf, I guess. <laughs> or I could play more frequently. He was like playing baritone sax once a month with the Rudy Salvini big band. You guys know Rudy Salvini? Yeah. 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 Major, major guy going for a long time. So it, Chuck had just gotten to the point where he was just playing Barry sax once a, once a month. And he said, no, I got to play a lot. So he started bringing people in. We had wonderful musicians uh, come in from the beginning. So we're going to celebrate it. Scott Foster has October 21st, <laughs> and he's a guitarist who was on that original band. He was only four then, and now he's, you know. <laughs> no, he's a, he's a young man still, 20 years later. And then a week later, Tony Johnson, who got to San Francisco in 1960 and was 
up on Grand Street playing with Pony Poindexter and Beth Kelly recorded there. But Pony Poindexter was an important uh, saxophone player of the era. And uh, so anyway, so we'll do those two Fridays in a row. But we also do tomorrow with Tammy Hall is here tomorrow. And we Howdy. do other dates all the time. So look at our website, birdbeckett.com. Okay. Gene Feinberg, yeah. Jazz for you. Quintet, the small band. Can we get a round of applause for Eric, please? Yeah. Woo! Thank you, everybody. I have some CDs here if anybody's interested.